Hi guys, in today's tutorial we're going to look at Ordnance Survey Maps and we're going to look at how different slopes are shown on an Ordnance Survey Map. Please remember to subscribe, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. So the first one you have is a gentle slope and this is usually when you find on a map that the contour lines are evenly spaced apart. Okay, so it'll be something like this and that would show that the contour lines are evenly sp spaced apart so the slope would be very gentle. The second one is a steep slope and this is when contour lines are very close together. So what you'll find is the contour lines will be very very close together and if they're close together this means that the slope is very steep. So as you can see in this, in this little drawing here the contour lines are very very close together so it means that it's a very steep slope. The next slope is the convex slope and this is when the contour lines are far apart and then they suddenly become, become really close. And as you can see here, this is, why, this is what it would look like in, a real, in real life. It's, it's really flat and then all of a sudden there's a big drop. So that's why the contour lines are far apart and then they become really close because the, the slope becomes really steep. There's a big drop. And the last one, the fourth uh, type of slope is concave slope and this is when there is a steep slope, what we'll see is the, the lines are very very close together so the drop is, is straight away and then at the bottom it becomes flat okay so this, the, the contour lines are very close together and then it becomes spread out because it's become a much more gentle slope. So there you have it, you have the four types of slopes that you can find on Ordnance Service Maps you can have a gentle slope when the contour lines are far apart. You can have steep slope when they're really, really close. You can have convex when the contour lines are really close together and then they're really, oh sorry, when they're really sp spread out and then they become really close together. Or you can have con concave when they're really, really close together because of a steep drop and then they become spread out. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful, can you please leave me some, some, some comments? on YouTube, just right on, under and below the video, um, and please can you su also subscribe to YouTube. I want to try to build up as many followers as possible um, on YouTube, so if you can follow us on YouTube that would be great, and also you can follow us on uh, Twitter and Instagram as well. Thank you.